Hello, welcome to my video. As we all start using Microsoft Teams more and more often and become more reliant, the demand for the Microsoft Teams usage is getting increased as well. More and more departments in an organization wants different teams created for them for different objectives. And you as IT consultant or developer wants to meet that growing demand. And I know we IT professionals hate doing the mundane task of creating teams, channels and owners, setting up uh, members and you know uh, setting some default settings in the teams over and over and again um, if the teams channel and the apps were same for all your new requests it would be super easy we just create the team as a template with the required setup and each time you create a new request we create a new teams from the template but it won't be that simple if each team request is different with different channels and different setup and different users so what if we have some level of aut automation into that it will save um, a lot of time for us, our valuable time. So Microsoft released uh, partial modules for Microsoft Teams that we all have been waiting for. Um, we will use some of those modules to automate certain things and speed up the process. So that's this video board. Um, in this example, let's consider you get a request to create Teams followed by some channels and add some team members into that. And let's see how we can automate that to a certain degree not all but maybe like up to 80 percentage automation you can do that uh, as a pre-request you need to install a partial module in your computer let's open the partial module over here uh, the code is the code is install module followed by microsoft team I have already installed this in my computer, so I'm not going to run this again. So once you have run this, we have to construct the partial commands in a spreadsheet based on your new request. You key in the details of the new team and the spreadsheet you built already with the formulae will generate the full script, partial scripts for you. And you can just copy and paste it in the partial console and execute it. Yeah. So let's go to the spreadsheet. I have already created this spreadsheet here. So it contains three tabs. First is to create a new team, uh, channels, and followed by uh, adding a new users. So the first one is uh, to create a new team. So I'm going to delete the existing ones. <coughs> so the code is a dollar team equals new team, followed by the display name, then followed by a set of uh, team settings that you want to set for the newly created teams so it has a loads of settings you can do but for this example i'm going to pick one settings which is whether to allow a team member to create or update teams channel or not okay um, so this is just a simple uh, excel formula i have used to construct and uh, concatenate these two uh, cells which is marked in yellow into the green cell so so the green cell i just copy and paste it yellow cell is where i just key in the details always so first one, let's create uh, a new team. Let's pick uh, some uh, tasks, uh, task, and whether to enter, can a team member create channels or not? I'm going to pick false. So as you can see, as and when I type, this Excel formula just can created me a full code for that. So I'm just going to copy the partial, go here, and escape, paste it and you can see the full value so the dollar team equals new team display name summer task and whether to create an update task by the team members or not is a false all this value yeah i'm assigning to a partial variable <coughs> a dollar team so the dollar team will contain the new uh, the new team detail like the group id the group name display name everything so i don't have to recreate again or go for that team and fetch the details of that to reuse in my further or uh, further job so hit enter this will create a new team called summer tasks so just wait for a second so it's been created let's go back to the teams console and check so there you go it's been created already and also we will verify whether the settings that we have done to disallow the team member uh, to create channels or not is enabled or not so go here and the settings on the site permission as you can see we have uh, this has been unticked by default it's been ticked but since we have used the partial to not allow members to create or update channel this has been 
uh, undid. So that's done. Okay, um, let's go back to our spreadsheet again. So this is done. Going next task is to create the channels. So here the PowerShell command is new team channel followed by the group ID, then followed by the display name. So in this, as you can see, I have reused the variable called dollar team dot group ID into the group IDs value. So I don't need to go back to the team details and fetch the group ID with another uh, partial code. So I just reuse the same variable dot group ID gives me the group ID of that. I'm going to use it with this parameter and the display name will, uh, will concatenate from the channel name. So let's say summer uh, 2021 and we drag it. We supposedly we have to create almost 28 to 30 channels. Yeah. So these are the channel names and you just automatically create. So all this has been created already with the Excel formula. So you just copy and go back to your same console, paste it and hit enter. And it will take a minute to create. So as you can see, the partial has been executed. We go back to the teams. Uh, as you can see, all the 28 channels has been created. So that's job done. Next is we go to the spreadsheet again. The last spreadsheet, the last sheet is to add the members. So the partial code is add team user followed by the same group ID, then the user emails address and the role. So I'm going to add uh, another user in my tenant. Hamid at Microsoft 365 Microsoft.com and the role is member and this is already generated. So this is just a, a lookup value. I'm pulling it from these two values and similarly uh, I didn't explain. So this one is also just a lookup value true or false sampling from these cell values. Very simple Excel formula. So yeah, so this one is add team member, group ID. Group ID, I'm reusing the same partial variable, dot team, dot, dollar team, team dot group ID, followed by the user, the email address from this cell, the role, followed by this cell. Okay, I'm copying it, going back to my uh, PowerShell, pasting it and hit enter. Okay, looks like it's been created. We go back and check the user has been created or not. See, the user show limit has been added. So it's uh, that simple. So next time you create, I uh, want to do the similar task, you just go delete this yellow colored cells and start afresh when you get a next new team request. So imagine if you want to create um, a new team with hundreds of channels and thousands of users. How long would it take for you to create that manually? It will take uh, maybe an hour or so. So this will take just minutes. So here you go. So this is the automation of uh, teams, uh, channels to a certain degree and configuration uh, to a certain degree. So um, not to a full end to end automation, but still with this, if you want, if you first build this spreadsheet initially and use that for every time you get a similar task, it'll be very easy and save a lot of time for you. So hopefully this will be helpful for you in your tasks and in your organization. And uh, if you like this video, hit like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Bye.